Hi, I just want to do a quick follow-up with the live video that I just held, had with Del Partridge from ReLearn and his three gospel books that he is trying to get out to as many people as possible. I was going to save that live interview, but I looked at it and like for the first several minutes, I couldn't get the video t attached to him because I'd been given wrong instructions. I'd never done that before. So I kept pushing the wrong thing and finally I figured out what it was. And so I just didn't want to share it because it just, I don't know, I'm sorry. Maybe I was too vain, I don't know. But it was a good interview, Dale, and because I didn't save it and some of you couldn't watch it, I know a lot of you have little children and you're busy in the evening feeding your family. And so I knew it might not be a great time for mothers with little children. It's hard to get a good time for mothers with little children. But anyway, he just really talked about a woman's role in proclaiming the gospel because we aren't supposed to preach or be pastors, but we need to share. He said, he said, proclaim the gospel. Women still need to proclaim the gospel. No, we can't preach but we are to proclaim the gospel. I usually sh say, share the gospel. I pe People in my neighborhood know that I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I have a little flag, garden flag, that has a Bible verse or something always that lets people know that I'm a believer. When I talk to them, I incorporate Christ into my, I don't give the gospel, but they know I talk about praying and going to church and loving the Lord. and. You know, just different, and my my neighbors that have been here for 23 years with me absolutely know my faith. So, and the boss, the guy Bible says we need to be ready to give an a, a defense for our faith at any time. And I wonder how many of you even know if someone asked you why do you believe why the way you believe, would you know how to answer? Probably a lot of you would not know how to answer. So he's written three little books, um, The Gospel, A Message of Hope, and it's for those depressions, anxiety, and worry. So, and he, all you have to do is pay for mailing, I think that's what he said. Um, I'm not sure, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and then The Message of Love for forgiveness, Freedom and family, I can't see how well. my class is very good. I can see really good medium and distance, but not reading. And a message of love for people in those. And then the last one, um, let's see which one did I, oh, this one I think. A message of joy for those in trials, tragedy, and illness. Um, people are lost in suffering and hurting, and there's so much pain and fear with what's going on in our culture with gas pot prices skyrocketing and and food skyrocketing, the future so unknown. It's such a great time to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you, if you know someone that you wanna share the gospel with, you can send these to them. You just go to mailthegospel.org. I'll put it in the link below. And you can go there and order them and send them they can be personalized or whatever, and you could send them to people. Maybe you have a raunchy father-in-law that would never accept anything from you, but if it was from, you know, just anonymous, he might. And you have to remember, women, that God's word never comes back void. Anything we say to anyone about the Lord, speaking the truth in love, anything doesn't come back void. But people do need to hear the gospel. They need to hear that they're sinners in desperate need for a savior. They need to hear what Christ accomplished on the cross for them and why they're sinners, because we all have, you know, the Ten Commandments, we've all broken that, those. No, the people will say, oh, I'm pretty good. Well, have you ever told a lie? Have you ever stolen anything? Da, da, da. Have you ever disobeyed your parents? Well, yeah. Well, you're a sinner, you know, and you're not, we have to be perfect in order to be with the Holy God. But God, Jesus Christ paid the price for you on the cross pay the penalty of God's wrath. So those who believe in him will get to spend eternity with him on the new earth. People need to hear that. They need the hope of Jesus Christ. I would, I, wouldn't you hate to think that this is all there was on this earth? Just this, you know, 
there's so much suffering and heartache and pain. Of course, there's so much joy, especially when you're living for Jesus. You know, just my husband, my children, my grandchildren, they bring me so much joy, my the good food, my comfortable bed, so many good and wonderful things that the Lord's given to us. We don't know how long some of these things, these luxuries in our country are going to last, but we can know that God will never leave nor forsake us, that if he cl clothes the lilies of the field and feeds the birds of the air, he's going to clothe and feed us, and we don't have to worry. He's never going to leave us nor forsake us. And the worst that can happen to us is that we die and spend eternity with Jesus Christ on the new earth. <laughs> so anyway, I I felt bad that I didn't save that live video, but it would just kind of only been up there for a little while anyway. And because Dale, you can go to Dale, Dale's website or his Instagram and he's talking about a lot. He's giving a lot of interviews with different people that you can listen to him. He's a great preacher of the word, loves the word, loves the gospel, loves people, and wants to get the gospel into as many hands as possible so that they can hear the good news of Jesus Christ and that their sins have been paid as, and when they believe they are new creatures in Christ, they're clothed in Christ's righteousness. And you know, so and, and it was great that he touched on how about women, you know, because we still, the way we live our lives, the way we love our husbands, stay married, love our children, raise our children to walk in truth, all of those are a huge witness to a lost and hurting world. And so get out there. I have a really good friend who she ministers to her, the woman who does her hair, all the, the guys who put the food in the, the stalkers in the grocery store, the checkout people. She just is going around telling people about Jesus all the time, everywhere she goes. That's just, she's an evangelist. You know, she just loves to tell people about Jesus. And we all should love to tell people about Jesus and not ever be afraid because the gates of hell will not prevail against him and his word and the gospel and Christianity and his church. So we're secure in Christ, women. <laughs> so be bold in your faith and go to mailthegospel.org if you're interested in getting these three very well, very well written booklets. Bye-bye. <laughs>